Hi, good evening all. Welcome to Blue and Gold Talk, the video on the channel. I usually just talk random stuff. Today, guys, I want to talk about the uh, Prospects Challenge, the game. I just finished watching it, ran into some of you guys online, told you I'd make a video. Have a little fun at the Habs fans' expense. Why not? They were in there trolling, doing their best Toronto Maple Leaf fan in imitations, but they're just cheap carbon copies, guys. Nobody can top Leaf fans when it comes to trolling. <laughs> Nobody. You know, but these are carbon copies. But I told you guys, how many times have I said it? The Habs fans are annoying as hell. They'll come in there, they're lactal friendly, and what they do, they stab you in the back right away. They start put, pointing out to you all the cups they won. You guys seen it tonight, right? In that, uh, in that lounge. It was ridiculous, you know? So I just bit my lip all night, waited till the game was over, threw it by two cents in, and, and then uh, all of a sudden, a, a, a flood of Sabre fans <laughs> just came in and all the... <laughs> Habs fans were gone so fast, they bolted out of there. One guy, and it was, I forget what the guy's name was, but one guy saying, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be all, you're gonna talk about being awesome for a decade because of a, a, a game that means nothing tonight. But it, meanwhile, he's in there talking about how they're gonna win the cup because of that game too. So it's like, you know, oh my God, man. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna throw up a clip here. Here it is for you guys. You might wanna pause the video if you wanna see the lineup. The, uh, now, I can't guarantee the lineup was exactly like this all night, but here it is. So there you see it, guys. Pause the video if you want. I'm coming back. So that's, uh, that was pretty much what was out there today. I mean, we had Habs. This is how bad Habs fans made themselves look tonight, guys, okay? I got to talk about this because it was driving me nuts. They're criticizing Devin Levi how bad he's playing in nets. <laughs> he wasn't even in nets in this game. And they're criticizing him more than once. What I would say to that, guys, be careful. That's the way Habs fans will troll. It's almost a different type of humor. You know, uh, they, they probably just want to bait Sabres fans into saying it's not Levi. I, I, I'm guessing they can't be that stupid, but who knows in this day and age, right? There's no way to know. So now about the game. I want to discuss about the game, but the <laughs> this trolling was funny tonight. It was funny, guys. I bit my lip all night. I did. I waited till the right time. I said, I'm going in there. I'm going to make my move now. Now that the fans are hurting and know it's over. That's the best time you want to talk, uh, attack Hab fans. Now, guys, educated advice, though, okay? From a person living in Montreal. If you ever want to get to Habs fans, okay? You got to rebuttal them with questions about their team. Look up something historically you know they won't know on the spot. Put them on the spot. Throw something at them like how many, who, who has the most assists in, in, in Montreal Canadiens history? Answer me right now, John or, or, or Joe or Francois. Answer me right now. How, who has the record? Well, I know it's Pete Mahovlich, but I, you know what I mean? It's, this is just something I would toss out there. And what I would do is I would toss like five questions to them, mix them up a bit, mess up their heads, and then I would say to them, why are you letting a Sabres fan destroy you like this? <laughs> you know, just to mess them up right at the end and say, I got no more time to waste on you, buddy. Go check your history books or whatever. Okay, uh, as for the game, guys, <laughs> I'm still cracking up. Oh, my God. Uh, as for the game, what I seen today, I, 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 they were kind of sloppy. Goaltending was, eh, you know. Uh, but this, uh, when it was all said and done, our, our prospects beat them pretty easy in the end. It was kind of like a practice the last period it looked like. It, it kind of looked like they started to get their legs going and that was it. Game was over. That, that's just kind of how it looked. And of course, Munchell fans will complain about the refs and are telling us how Cole Caulfield is elite and all this stuff. I didn't throw out any cracks. I bit my tongue. I said, ah, I bit my lip, I should say. And I said, ah, I'm just going to leave them be. Let them... They're gonna suffer for the next five years, so I might as well just leave them alone. So um, yeah, the, the kids look good. Uh, Savoy looked really good in this game, not just because he scored a, a few, I believe he got two, right, in this game? I think he got two. Uh, it wasn't just because of that, it's how he looked. He looked really good on the ice. Uh, quietly, Benson looked very good defensively, folks. It's something I, I don't wanna forget to mention. I liked what I seen uh, from Ryan Johnson. I liked what I seen from him. There was some, it was some promising stuff out there. Our, our big names, you know, our first rounders like on that list is what I'm really watching the most. Um, 
Eh, of course, other guys in the dough. I mean, there's, we could go on and on. You probably seen something I didn't pick up on because guys, I got caught up in that stupid, <laughs> that stupid lounge reading these notes and I'm trying to watch the game. And yeah, I know I could shut it off, but when it's Montreal fans, you don't know what it does to me, guys. If it's Toronto fans, I know it would drive you guys nuts, not me. Not, not as much as Montreal fans. I take it more personal when it's Montreal fans. So it's like, uh, and one guy saying like, you know, well, for the first time in years, Buffalo have fans and, you know, just comments that were uncalled for just because he's pouting they're losing. It's the way of Quebec, guys. Trust me on this. It's the way that Montreal fans react when it comes to losing. They pout like little children, even in games like this, you know. So they thought they were going to win when they were up two to one and they're trying to stick it to us and and this and that, and then when the Sabres kind of just took over the game the rest of the night after, it's like uh, they were upset, you know? They won't say it. They'll just say, ah, this game doesn't matter and all this. We have 24 cups. You guys seen it. How often did we see that tonight? We have 24. Yeah, we know you got the Stanley Cups, Montreal. We don't really care. I don't care. You haven't won one in over 30 years now, it's going to be. I don't care. You guys are in the worst drought of your history, and you're bragging still. Like, wake up. You know, Montreal might go 100 years without winning a cup though, with that mentality they have out here now. I, that's why I call them the Toronto Maple Leafs little brothers. That's what they are out here. They're like little Toronto Maple Leaf fans want to be when it comes to their... And I'm not picking on all Leaf channels. Let's get this clear, guys. I might pick on, on uh, Dangle's channel a bit because, you know, he loves to scream and rant and rave, which is mostly an act. We know that, but it's... You know, I, I didn't like the cheap shots they took at the Sabres when we were down and out. I haven't forgotten that. That bugs, that bugs me. It's one of those things. But the other channels were always kind of hoping we would get back on track. You know, make the rivalry good again. You know, let's make the rivalry good again, as they say. So it's like how we're kind of pulling for Ottawa in a way to get better, too. We want to see this rivalry come back, Buffalo-Ottawa, right? I, I do. I know I do. Montreal's not going to be around for a while. Montreal... You know, people are saying, why is Jack guy playing? Why is this guy playing? Well, why don't y'all don't have many assets, guys? It, it, believe me on this. Uh, you know, the people that make videos and say their assets are huge, they're just wrong. Their, their asset pool isn't very strong. It just isn't. You know, they, they've made some bad picks, too, in the first round. So we'll see. We'll see how that pans out over there. We'll, we'll just see. So today, what I seen, I seen a team that looked kind of lost and still win pretty easy. It's kind of what I've seen in that prospect challenge today. We'll have to see how the next game pans out, but uh, boy, oh boy, uh, we got to all be unite together and get in there when the Bruins fans show up, eh? Because <laughs> that's going to, you know, oh, I don't even know if we have them on the schedule. I forget. I forget our games. You see, I forget. I'm right. If, if I'm right, we got, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd have to check it. I have to check our games. But this one to me was the big one for me regardless of who we have next games no no this was the big one when they're playing montreal for me is the is the one that i know that those little uh ea cases you know are going to show up inside and and start causing trouble the way they did i wasn't surprised they're acting all friendly at first and then the next thing you know <laughs> like it's typical montreal fans you got to watch it guys got to watch it they're like the tax man you can't trust them so I don't know. I enjoyed it, guys. How do you feel about the game? I kind of enjoyed it. It was fun, you know. Refreshing just to see hockey again and see our logo on the ice playing, you know. And um, I, I enjoyed the commentating. I enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed a lot. I enjoy. I just enjoyed it today. I got caught up into it. I was supposed to go upstairs and start doing some stuff, and I got caught up into the game. It's like ah, hell with it. I'm going to watch this. Just work. Uh, I'll go late tonight, and you know, I'll work to like one in the morning. Whatever, guys. I'll leave it be. But uh, it was a fun, a fun day. It was fun to watch you Sabres fans uniting together against them because, <laughs> you know, this is really about the trolling, I guess, this video. I had to make a video, guys, on all that trolling I seen. I had to. I had to because it was too funny. It was too damn funny. Just the way that Sabres fans and much of fans were finally going back and forth. I told you guys it's war this year. It's war. And I meant it. It's war. So we're at war with the league. Let it be known. Put the word out there. Rome Hockey says we're at war. Because that's what we are with these guys. With these other franchises and these other teams and division rivals. All of it. 
You had Tampa fans coming in, making fun of our franchise in there today and everything. It was ridiculous. So I can't wait to kick all their heads all over the place this year in this division. I can't wait. All right, guys, I'm done for the night. I just wanted to throw a video, say hi, pat you guys on the back that were there standing up for the team and the franchise and all of it. It was, uh, oh my goodness. Now you guys know what I go through living out here. You've seen it in there. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.